I know, <laughs> right? Those times are tough for us in the morning. That's uh, all right. We can still right. cheer them on. Is it bad that I go to bed at like 8.30 on Friday night I'm sometimes? not judging you. I'm in bed by 5. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's a little early. Hey, that's on a Friday? Hey, Pathetic. crazy. Getting out there and really living it up. I know. That's all right. I can't complain. I'm too far behind. Yeah. yeah. And let's be real. All right. We need to be real about the weather, too, because we've got a lot of rain today. That's right. It is going to be a wet commute for you this morning. As we take a look at the radar, you can see lots of green, yellows, oranges on the map, and that's indicating some of that light to steady rainfall, even some pockets of some uh, heavier rain actually out towards our west, especially out towards the West Hills, our western suburbs, out towards Hillsboro, Beaverton, even out towards Forest Grove, giving some of that uh, heavier rainfall down towards Newburgh, even Sherwood this morning. It is going to be a very wet start for us. It's going to continue to stay wet as the day goes on. Downtown right now, a bit of a break. We're kind of in between uh, some pockets of heavier rain between our west and our east, out towards Oregon City, down towards Beaver Creek, getting some of those uh, moderate showers, even out towards Camas. Salem, you've been getting some of that light rain. We've been seeing the snow in the Cascades, and the snow is also flying uh, this morning through the Blue Mountains, and Pendleton reporting some light rain right now. Your temperatures are going to hold near steady this morning, generally in the mid Mid uh, 40s for all of us right now. 44 in Gresham, one degree difference out towards Hillsboro. A little bit warmer towards Astoria this morning. Salem, you're starting off at 46 and Bend right now at 37. And you could see a little bit of rain, snow mix through the morning hour. So we had that winter weather advisory in the Cascades today. That goes until 5 p.m. Snow levels between about uh, 3,000 and 4,000 feet. So past levels getting some of that light snow and will continue to stay wet today. So follow the timeline here. You could see shower mode with pockets of steadier. To heavy rainfall coming in through the afternoon hours. Now, a warm front crosses over us tonight, and that's going to uh, let our snow levels go up a little bit. So, I think they'll be above pass levels by tomorrow morning. So, we'll change over to more of a rain event here for Government Camp, but up towards our ski resorts, Timberline Lodge. I do think you're going to stay all snow, possibly up to around four to nine inches of additional snow tonight uh, through tomorrow morning. Here's tomorrow morning, 2 a.m., wet overnight for us into the morning commute. It's going to stay wet into your lunch hour tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon, and you can see the rain just really doesn't let up. We're going to continue to see rain showers through tomorrow evening. Now, once we get into tomorrow night, we start to see a little bit of the activity lightening up a little bit, and that's going to help us get a little bit of sunshine and showers coming in for your Friday. But today, it is going to be all rain and windy conditions out towards the coast. We could get those gusts to uh, 20 to 12, uh, 40 miles per hour at times, especially during the afternoon hours. Temperatures are going to fall well below average in the valley with that rain and lots of clouds. Clouds in the area east of the mountains today. We have a mix of rain and snow with temperatures right around 49 for you in Bend and Baker City, 52. And it's also going to be quite windy. West winds up to around 40 miles per hour. There again, your snow levels around uh, 3,500 to 4,000 feet. Timberline, and to get an additional four to nine inches of snow, maybe one to three by this evening for government camp before those snow levels go up. And it's going to be a rainy day ahead for the gorge and all the metro area today, possibly up to around a half of an inch through this evening. And some of us who are in the the heavier downpours could maybe pick up a little bit of additional uh, or higher amounts than that half of an inch by tomorrow morning. So definitely going to be wet for us as we look at the seven day forecast. Temperatures fall below average. Some sun breaks in there over the weekend, but up to 70 and looking dry by next Tuesday. That would be nice, but parents just be forewarned. We might have some uh, cancellations of after school sports later today. I'm thinking that might happen. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Riley. All right. And we do still have a situation in that tunnel, Carly. On Highway